case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2003, Robert Lee Hines, a convicted felon, stood before the Supreme Court of Georgia, charged with a grim act that occurred during a hunting trip. Mistaking his friend Stephen Wood for a turkey, Hines fired his gun and killed him. This case, Hines v. State, revolved not only around the tragic hunting accident, but also around a legal question. Whether a firearms possession by a convicted felon could serve as the basis for a felony murder charge. On that fateful day, Hines and Wood were out hunting. After hearing a turkey gobble, Hines felt instinctively sure he had his target in sight. He took his shot from about 80 feet away, only to realize he had killed Wood instead of a turkey. Prior to this, Hines had been consuming alcohol, which violated the laws applicable to convicted felons like him. Based on the evidence, the courts convicted Hines on two counts. The first was for the possession of a firearm by a felon, and the second for felony murder. Hines appealed, arguing that the verdict was inconsistent. In his view, his acquittal for misusing the firearm while hunting and his conviction for possessing it were contradictory. Nevertheless, the Supreme Court of Georgia rejected his argument. While stating that the state doesn't acknowledge an inconsistent verdict rule, the court affirmed the original judgment. Hines was pronounced guilty of felony murder based on his illicit possession of the gun, which was deemed inherently dangerous. His appeal didn't change the legal foundations of his case. That possession of a firearm by a convicted felon can, under certain circumstances, support a felony murder conviction. Thus, with Hines's attempt at shifting responsibility proving futile, the court's decision underscored both the severity of his actions and the complexity of the legal process. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.